All right, guys, I just wanted to do a quick review on two of the different uh, axes you can get on Sportsman's Guide. Um, there, there's plenty of reviews on these particular axes on uh, their own, but I couldn't find anything that had both of them side by side to give you a good comparison of how big they are to each other. So that's why I figured I'd throw this up and let people kind of get an understanding of what the size are and uh, how they work. Um, the little hatchet is actually really nice, uh, light, convenient, uh, well built, heavy duty for bushcraft and things like that. Um, you know, you can take it out hunting and it, it does have weight, but it's not enough weight that you're really going to be noticing it a ton on you. Um, the reserve axe in behind it uh, with the red head on it that you would definitely feel. Um, it's called, it's what they call a miner's axe. It's a full size axe, almost uh, five pounds. I think it's four and a half pounds, something like that. Um, it has a shorter handle than a normal axe. I put, that's why I put my uh, regular size handle axe behind it to give you an idea of how long a regular size handle axe is uh, compared to the miner axe. Um, it's well built. Both of them are very well built, very sturdy. Um, they're the little hatchet type one it actually uh, has some kind of you know varnish or finish to inside of it but not enough that it's waxy or anything to the fill it still feels like raw wood um, the reserve axe I got is literally raw wood um, it doesn't have any sealer or um, linseed oil or anything to it it's just raw wood um, the one thing I did notice is with the reserve axe you know this is only if you're being very picky, is whenever you line up the axe head with the handle, it, it doesn't line up 100% with it. It's kind of a little crooked off from it. So, um, but it's not too hard to just readjust in the hand while you're swinging and get used to it. If you're not used to an axe though, um, get you an axe and get used to it before you use this. You could chop your leg off of this real easy. It's, it's really short and choked up. Um, if you're trying, you, you just need to know what you're doing if you're going to use this thing. This one gives you a lot more control, a lot lighter. Um, this would be a good little little hatchet to start with as far as hatchets go. Um, and then both of them together, you can pretty much see difference in size on these. Um, and then, yeah more of a regular size axe handle to this thing. Like I said, it's it's choked up quite a bit. You lose a lot of axe handle there for this thing, but it's a full size heavy head. Um, it's easy to control though. The one thing I've heard a lot of people say with that uh, miner's axe though is it's great for splitting wood. I haven't done that yet. Um, once that time comes, um, and I use it for doing that, uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but as for, far as right now, I just got these things in, just had a little bit of time to mess with them, and I uh, thought I'd make a quick review so you can at least see and know the difference in the sizes of them. Um, and like I said, if you want individual reviews of each hatchet and axe, uh, just you can find them a lot of different places. If you want me to do an individual axe review, then I will. Um, go through the edges and everything else.